hey, this video, as with all future videos for the time being, is going to contain donation links for the PCRF, the Palestinian Children's Relief Fund. They're a nonprofit organization made up of volunteers that is focused on delivering aid to the children of Palestine affected by the bombings and mass murder in the Gaza Strip. I always want my videos to be a force for good, even if this video has nothing to do with what's been going on. So there are links in the description to donate. A little goes a long way, so I highly encourage you to do so. Thank you. Now, on with the video. I was never book smart, I'm money smart. So I was inhaling some serious copium last night, and I was thinking about a way that the Afton family could still be canon to the FNAF movie. And it would really hinge on how the second movie, if it's coming out, handles the story of Vanessa and Mike's relationship going forward. The Afton family is at the core of the story of Five Nights at Freddy's. The relationship between father and son and William and Michael is what drives every single event home. It would honestly be stupid if Mike Schmidt was just Mike Schmidt. Just be wasted potential. Well, what do we know about the Afton family? Well, you have the father, William Afton, and a mother, who, considering the fact that she is never named in the games, is probably dead. An older brother who blames himself for the death of his younger brother. A bratty sister who loves to get up in close and personal with the robots. And a younger brother who dies young. The Schmidt family in the movies, minus the father, is like the exact same. A mother who dies, an older brother who almost blames himself for the death of his younger brother, a bratty sister, and a younger brother who dies young. The father leaves after Garrett dies, which is curious to me, and I'll get to that later. Hi, uh, this is editing Elzebel's at 12.59 at night. I just realized that I made a pretty big mistake. Mike's dad does not leave after Garrett dies. He leaves after the wife dies. Garrett is almost certainly a parallel to the crying child. Well, Abby is not only an uncommon nickname for Elizabeth, but an anagram for baby is way too up and close and personal with the animatronics and is always put in a baby-like costume towards the end of the movie. And for the record, I know it's not actually baby, it's Ella from the novels, but it's almost too coincidental how similar they look. But Mike? Uh, that's where the real fun begins. I honestly think that in the second movie, Mike finds out that Vanessa and him are actually half-siblings and that Mike's biological father is William Afton. Just think about it. William and Miss Afton get married and plan to have their first child together. And maybe it's a fight or William's crazed tendencies drive her away. But at some point before Michael can remember, Mrs. Afton leaves William behind on bad terms. She meets Mr. Schmidt and they decide to have more children together, not before changing Michael and her own last name to Schmidt to try and distance himself even further. At the same time, William has a second child with another woman, a daughter named Vanessa. Fast forward maybe 12 or so years, William has not stopped thinking about and loathing his former family. And during his murder spree, he drives out to Nebraska to kidnap and kill one of the Schmidt children as a way of revenge. During the movie, I found it really random how Will actually knew the full name of the kid he killed all those years ago. Knowing it well enough that he was able to recognize Mike Schmidt as his brother from name alone. And judging from how Vanessa reacts to the Visit Nebraska poster he hung up, it's a really random place for the main characters to reference or visit. I mean, they were at a camping site in the middle of nowhere in Nebraska. It's too specific for William to just been coincidentally at the same place at the right time. So, I personally think that him tracking down the Schmidt family to enact revenge is a very strong possibility. Also, let's think about how in the movie, Vanessa and Mike are pretty similar people too. When given one instruction by Will that ends up being two instructions, they both say the same exact thing. Well, that's two things. And William gets annoyed. He can't do anything to Mike in that office, so he just stares at him, obviously peeved. But when Vanessa says it to him in the end, it's what causes him to start choking her out. Also, at the very end of the movie, Michael talks to a comatose Vanessa, starting with the words, I don't know if you can hear any of this. Which, while I was watching both times, I could literally not stop thinking about how similar it was to when the supposed Mike talks to the comatose crying child at the end of FNAF 4. Even if the similarity is between them and there. I also think that it's kind of strange how in the climactic moment of the movie, William specifically calls Mike Michael Schmidt. Like, Mike is Mike Schmidt. That's the name of his character on the cast list and everything. He never introduces himself to anyone as Michael, even to William. It's always Mike. 
Will is not just reading it off of a resume this time, he makes the choice to call him by his full name. And I know that the easy explanation could be that he's just calling him by his full name, kind of with the imagery as a parent about to tell you off. But with all this information together, I honestly think that this is just an allusion to Michael Afton, a character who mostly addresses himself as Michael. Now, another side of the discussion pits Henry as the Schmitz family father, and I want to acknowledge what's going on with that theory before I give it a little rebuttal. So, the argument boils down to that the role in, of the Aftons in the movie has been switched with the Emilys. Garrett was kidnapped and killed in the car by William, similar to how Charlie was kidnapped and killed in the car in both the games and the novel trilogy. You also don't have to reach for a relationship timeline if this guy is Henry. Even the fact that he leaves, or even dies after his wife goes, falls in line with Henry. Most of all, William checking down and killing his friend's kid is much more in line with canon. But the fatal flaw of this theory is that it falls apart when you consider that Mike has no former history with Freddy's, and has never even heard of the place before going there. It's hard to believe that Mike went his entire childhood without knowing about the company his dad builds robots for. Plus the tainting tree plus the tainting fuck <laughs> plus the training tape lady only mentions one genius so maybe henry is not around freddy's like he normally is making him unlikely to know afton vanessa is a stand-in for the game role of michael afton a character who learns to face the deep-seated trauma of having a serial killer for a father and help his victims head on but I honestly think that there is a chance that Mike could also be the son of William, considering how closely aligned him and his family are with the existing Afton family. It would honestly be a huge disappointment if they scrapped the whole Afton family narrative in the second movie, because then how would they adapt any more of the games? A lot of the sense they make hinges on Michael Afton being the main character, especially the later games like Sister Location and Pizzeria Simulator. Now, do I think they would ever adapt a game perfectly in this trilogy? Fuck no! They failed to make a good adaptation of FNAF 1 in the first place. But I honestly don't know how you could continue the movies, still make them about Five Nights at Freddy's, and not have the main character also be Michael Afton, the main character of the games. So, that was my proposal. My denial and copium-infected proposal. My first actual FNAF theory. <laughs> And I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. <laughs> I know this theory is kind of lackluster. I mean, it's only five minutes long. Um, but I kind of, I saw some people on Twitter, you know, giving their thoughts about possibly, you know, the, the fact that they could be siblings. And I really like that theory. So I tossed my name into the ring. I ultimately just want the best for this movies. I want the best for these characters. I love Mike. I love Vanessa. You know, and I, I mean, I just thought that this would be a fun alternative to what we have. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.